We wanted to focus on the Olympics, but we wanted to come at the sporting themes from a kind of side-on way. So rather than just thinking about approaching some of the more obvious things about the relation between dancing and sport, people obviously think, oh, you know, well, dancing is a kind of sport in a way, isn't it? And rather than taking that kind of line on things, we came at it from a kind of side-on way and said, what's interesting um, to come at the idea of sport and movement from different points of view. So there's 30 performers and they were they range from children to teenagers, uh, professionals, non-professionals. There was also myself as the choreographer, a live musician, and there was lots of other people kind of in the background doing a lot of the production thing, the publicity, all the funding. So it was probably maybe about 40 of us all together. The piece was performed here in the Guildhall over a few nights and also in Donock Moor two nights as well. There are some crossovers between these non-Olympic sport, non-sport activities like chess or climbing and uh, more typical Olympic sports like sprinting or rowing or team sports like volleyball. So uh, it's interesting to come at those themes from the point of view of creating movement work which is based on those things and see where that took us in relation to the ideas that are linked to sport. We were one of the first projects in Northern Ireland to be awarded the Inspire Mark um, which gave us a clear link to the Olympic Games and the Cultural Olympiad and um, working through Legacy Trust UK um, and it really helped us gain a lot of promotion for the performances um, and also we felt that it worked well for the chess piece because of the values of that project, being so professional, but also with the participation um, of young people, old people, uh, volunteers and professional dancers all working together uh, to create um, a really good production to apply for the Inspire Mark for those reasons. And also it helped us gain a lot more promotion for the performances at the time and we got a lot more media coverage, I think, with that clear link to the Olympic Games and the Cultural Olympiad. It's really, really fun to watch, which is the most important thing. It's a very good piece of theatre to see, and it also makes you think a bit. Uh, and it's surprising because it's also got a surreal aspect to it. So it's not so predictable about... It's easy for something like chess, to, especially in the context of Northern Ireland, to fall into, oh, it's about identity and two teams and colours and all that sort of stuff. And uh, actually what we managed to do was create it in a way which has also got a very surreal and strange side to it with these weird characters and surprising things that happen. Um, so I'd say that was really the special things.